Hello, I'm Nathan Johanning, Extension Educator with the University of Illinois Extension. We're out here at the Belleville Research Center in Belleville, Illinois to talk about more of our pumpkin variety trial. So in this case, uh, this part of the variety trial, we have all the, we call medium-sized jack-o'-lanterns. So those that are roughly in the category of 25 pounds roughly or less. So in this case, again, this trial was all planted with uh, after winter wheat as a double crop and all the pumpkins were no-tilled into it. So in this case for the jack-o'-lantern size we'll go ahead and go through each of the varieties we have here. First one we have is Bay Horse Gold. Uh, Bay Horse Gold is, uh, is a really nice uh, moderate I would say probably around 15 pound uh, jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. Uh, really nice size and color um, I personally really like the, the handle attachment and it has a very classic, classy look to it um, and has, has done well for us, um, especially in previous years in, in trials and things. So a nice, uh, a nice solid uh, jack-o'-lantern variety. Next we have Bellatrix. So uh, Bellatrix is uh, again a really nice jack-o'-lantern variety, fairly similar, maybe slightly larger than what uh, Bay Horse is. Um, in this case has just a, maybe a little bit more smoother appearance, not quite as much uh, ribbing on it. Again, really nice, well-attached handle, uh, and I would say a, a nice handle length for uh, jack-o'-lanterns, not, not too long that it makes it fragile to break, however long enough to give it a really uh, nice uh, classy look. Next we have uh, Carbonado Gold. So this is a, a newer release. Uh, this one for us this year is I think very yielded fairly well. Uh, it is a nice pumpkin, a little smaller than some that we've looked at. Um, and so, uh, but really nice shape, a little longer stem and handle to it, uh, but very consistent in shape and size. Uh, I would say a nice pumpkin for that smaller size jack-o'-lantern that you need maybe for younger kids or for just uh, those that want just a smaller uh, pumpkin. Uh, so a nice fit for that smaller size jack-o'-lantern. So Cargo, this is a, a, another variety again, a little, bit, uh, a little bit larger than the last one we looked at. Um, nice, I would say, again, roughly that 15, 15 plus pound size. Just a, a really nice jack-o'-lantern pumpkin um, with nice stem and, and really good, uh, fairly consistent in shape and color. Eagle City Gold. Uh, this is uh, another similar, uh, fairly similar to Bay Horse Gold. I would say in fairly comparable in size. This year, uh, yield-wise, did very well for us. We are getting you know, multiple harvestable fruit off of, uh, off of a plant. Uh, a little longer stems to it. Uh, very nice look. Um, certainly, uh, sometimes the longer stems, if you're packing into bins, can be a little bit problematic. So you can always, of course, make them uh, cut them a little shorter if that's a problem, but does have a really nice, uh, nice look and consistent size and shape. Next we have Early Prince. So Early Prince, a, uh, a nice, a little smaller variety, has a little more variation in size, um, but overall has a, a nice shape, very good yields. Uh, you know, getting in some cases, you know, as many as, you know, three fruit uh, per plant. Um, but again, we are getting some, in, uh, some variation with some smaller fruit, most of which are though closer to this basketball size range. And, and fairly consistent, uh, you know, a nice set of fruit that you get in that range. So that's a, a nice quality for that, if you're looking especially for that consistent uh, shape for, uh, especially for wholesale markets. Eros, another uh, nice jack-o'-lantern. Uh, again, similar in size, I would say more in that, uh, you know, 12 to 14 pound range. Uh, uh, nice handle length, uh, good firm handle attachment, 
uh, and uh, just another uh, another nice jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. Next we have Gladiator. Uh, Gladiator is uh, has a little different handle attachment. You can see a little bit larger handle. Uh, in this case, we had fruit closer to maybe around that 15 pound range. I have seen gladiators get a little larger, sometimes even closer to the 20 pound range, but that's uh, you know fairly uh, average yield and, uh, and nice, fairly good color, nice dark color. Hermes is a, uh, a newer release. This is a little smaller fruited as far as its size. Um, I'm going to say probably closer to that uh, maybe 10 to 13 pound range. Um, has a very kind of distinct uh, handle attachment, uh, a fairly large handle for the size of the fruit and uh, a nice, uh, just a, a nice smaller size pumpkin. So Kratos is the next variety we have. Uh, Kratos in this case has a little more of an upright appearance. Um, I would say a, a moderate length stem, not real long, um, but, and also fairly you know, an average yielding uh, variety, but pretty nice color and, uh, and distinguishment. Magic Wand. Uh, Magic Wand is uh, a as a variety that's been one of the kind of industry standards for uh, a fair number of years. Uh, very consistent, a little bit flattened shape, not so much upright, but a, a, a nice consistent small size, you know, in that uh, 10 to 15 pound range uh, pumpkin for, uh, you know, that smaller jack-o'-lantern size. Orange Sunrise. Uh, Orange Sunrise is a, uh, a newer variety, uh, orange jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. This is actually a precocious yellow uh, variety, so uh, is one that uh, if you do have some virus issues, it may be one to consider because it does that yellow does mask some of the green discoloration you can get with some uh, viruses. Uh, you know, a nice consistent, you know, I would say 15 to maybe slightly 15 plus pound range, a uh, nice uh, fruit shape and color. Renegade uh, is our next variety. So uh, this has a, a very, I think, very distinct uh, ribbing to it. Uh, that Again, that classic deep jack-o'-lantern color. Uh, size is, is pretty consistent with average yields, so it has a, a, a really nice, uh, nice look, very consistent in its shape and size and appearance. Ray is the next variety. So this variety is a little more shortened in stature uh, and it's noted for its really long stems and handles. So in this case, it, it always has a very characteristic uh, long stem to it that is, uh, is probably its kind of selling point or where it's unique compared to a lot of other varieties. But otherwise, uh, you know, nice average yielding, good uh, and good qualities. RPX 6208 is a new release that is not yet on the market. Um, does have a nice shape uh, and color. Uh, in this case, uh, yeah, I would say average or so yield, but the very consistent quality and shape, very uniform. Next, we have RPX 6209. So uh, 6209, again, Another new release, not yet on the market. We have a really nice shape to it. Uh, the, the color and ribbing it gives a, a very classy look. Um, yields, I think, are, are pretty good on this one, better than some of the varieties we've had. Uh, and so uh, I think another nice one to look for in the future.
Our next variety is Secretariat. Uh, it, is, uh, uh, it is noted by having a very large stem, uh, so that a very large diameter stem, especially for the fruit size. Uh, yeah, otherwise nice quality is and has some characteristic ribbing, but that, that very distinct stem is very notable on it. But in this case, uh, you know, for that size fruit, uh, very high yielding. You know, you're in this case looking at uh, around three fruit per plant, which is, is, is very good for uh, some of our small jack-o'-lantern varieties. So I think another uh, nice one to keep in mind for that smaller size jack-o'-lantern. Next, we have a few uh, experimental varieties that are through a breeding program in SIU. This is SIU-4. Uh, this variety is, uh, uh, has a little lighter color. In this case, wasn't as high, uh, high yielding, but does have some, uh, some nice uh, shape characteristics that I think will, uh, could, be, uh, could be of interest uh, in the future. Next we have SIU-5. Uh, SIU-5 is a little bit larger, a little, a little higher yielding. You can see again, roughly that basketball to slightly larger size is what most of our fruit size. However, we still have a little variability with some, uh, some taller and other shapes. Has, uh, has a nice moderate size handle, fairly well attached. So I think that's uh, um, another variety that we will see how that uh, pans out in the future. SIU-7, uh, a little more variability in size, so we have some anywhere from 15 pound fruit on some down less than 10 pounds. Uh, so some variability. Uh, overall, uh, most of the color is, is fairly good on these, has a fairly dark color, although some still are a little, little bit lighter in color. All right, our next variety is SIU-15. This is the last of some of our SIU selections. I will say of those, this is probably by, by far my favorite. Uh, it is one of the, the higher yielding of the varieties, has the most consistency, uh, fairly nice dark color. So I think this is giving you some, in this case, some nice fruit that are in that probably 12 to 14 pound range. So, uh, so that's, uh, I think, uh, something to watch for in the future. And uh, hopefully this one will continue to develop and maybe be further refined and end up as a, a new variety for Southern Illinois. So it certainly has some good yield potential and, uh, and nice consistency. Next we have Skidoo Gold. So uh, this variety, uh, again, uh, really consistent, uh, nice yielding uh, fruit. Uh, doesn't have is a fairly smooth skin has a little bit of a ribbing on it not a lot good color uh, very distinct uh, I would say moderate to larger size stem not real long but uh, but very consistent and uniform in shape so that's uh, uh, another nice small variety next we have Spartacus uh, this I believe is a fairly new variety uh, has a very, very large stem, fairly uh, short in stature compared with some, a little bit shorter, um, uh, fairly consistent, I would say on, the, on our case, a little average on yield, but very consistent shape and qualities. Next we have Spartan. Uh, Spartan is a variety that has been around for a while. It has, uh, uh, that classic jack-o'-lantern color, I would say uh, probably a, a moderate amount of ribbing to it, has, I would say, an, an average length stem, uh, you know, in that, you know, roughly two to three inch range. So a uh, uh, nice look to it, but not a super long stem that maybe is more prone to breaking for some packing situations, but nice color, nice fruit, and, you know, nice average yielding uh, moderate size jack-o'-lantern. The last variety on some of our smaller jack-o'-lanterns is Zeus. So uh, Zeus has been, uh, been around for a few years. Uh, a nice shape, a nice, nice ribbing, a little bit longer handle than, uh, than Spartan has, uh, but overall really good color. I would say good yields 
and, uh, and a, a nice variety for uh, jack-o'-lanterns. So this is a little overview of the uh, medium-sized jack-o'-lanterns that we have in our pumpkin variety trial. So if you have further information or questions or want more details, uh, feel free to contact myself, Nathan Johanning, at my contact information listed below. And we appreciate your interest in this variety trial and make sure to check out the other videos from our other varieties. Thank you.